Welcome guys, this is uh, Jesse uh, from the Napier's Homestead farm we got going on here. And I'm going to talk about the tiller that I used to till my garden with. It's a 30 by 50 garden. Uh, I like to compare it to a Nissan truck. Uh, the bed's all rutted off and it just keeps on going every time. Uh, this old tiller, we uh, bought it used and there's a bunch of pieces missing off on the side. It's all rusted over and it just starts up every time. Check out your, uh, your rabbits? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's see what we got. Have you been keeping up with your chores pretty good with them? Yeah, I've been feeding them, watering them. We're good, let's see. They've been uh, out here uh, three days. They did, uh, they've been doing pretty good. How many days have you been out here? Three. Three, three days. So mm -hmm. This one's Daisy, right? You call this one Daisy? Yeah, Beth's the name of it. Black Gold? Mm -hmm. Here's our famous giant rabbit. Two months old. Still going, yeah. Two months old. It's that big. Got some food, water. Mm -hmm. So it ain't that big. It ain't that hard to come down here feeding water. No, it's easy. Real good. Yeah, so we call this one Yuna. Yeah. Now the uh, we we love the Final Fantasy X game. Oh yeah. And that's where the name Yuna comes from. So we're actually waiting. We got another Flemish giant coming. It's a male. Mm -hmm. And if you know anything about Final Fantasy games, and especially Final Fantasy X, you know the next one's going to be named Titus. Yes. <laughs> Mom named Titus. Yeah, Mom did, didn't she? So you know where we're going with that. This is what we've been feeding them besides you know, okay. other stuff, you know, the green food. Uh, they seem to be liking it. Yeah, make sure they get all their vitamins and minerals up and everything. Alright, what well, about your chicken? Oh yeah, that's all I can do. You're still chilling away. <laughs> what y'all gonna plant right here, Paul? Green beans. We're gonna plant some uh, green beans here. Green beans? Yeah. I heard that. Yeah. That was good too, that was an extra war you got saved. Oh yeah. Put it right up there. So try save some so we we're going to plant some on this side right here too. Plant some on uh, both sides. Yeah. So it would just go up, to, uh, go up the fence. Oh, let it grow up the fence? Mm -hmm. There it is. So how are you liking this, uh, this life, Paul, the homestead life? Killing, raking. I think it's pretty good. Think you're going to do it next year? Yeah. Now what about, uh, now I talked to somebody, we might be getting us a goat next week. Oh, good, good. A male Nigerian dwarf goat. Now all we got to get is a, a female goat when we be set. Yep. Now here's the chicken. They've been out here three days as well. They've been doing pretty good. Chicken's been out here three days? Mm -hmm. Well, walk us over here, Paul. Tell us what you got. They wouldn't go up there, they, they kept on coming down low. Kept flying down. Yeah, so they put on some hay in the corner there, and they seem to be loving it. Yeah, at, at night I would come out here in the evening and go put them up there. I'd put them up there, they would just fly on back down. Yeah, and have mm -hmm. you named these uh, chickens? No, haven't named them. 
be hard to name them and remember oh, yeah. which one was which. Wasn't it? <laughs> the easy one, if we named it, would be that one right there. You see it with like the white on it? Yeah, on the, the white back? Yeah. Yep. That one would be easy to uh, remember. The others, I, I don't know. Let's say you gave them some corn, they've got some fresh water, that's good. It seems like you've been doing a pretty good job with your chores. Thank you. Now what, I know we talked about this on a past video. What is this you and Jesse's got going on here, Paul? Uh, it's called rain harvesting. Rain harvesting. Every time we uh, tilt to this a little bit to where it would, uh, the rain will come down from that right there. If you look closely, you see a board right there. Kind of tilts it, don't it? Yeah. Rain, when rain comes down, tilt, it's tilted, comes down, goes in the rear. We're going to have to get us a, a new one. This one has a hole in it. Yeah. We, uh, we, it was an old one and we brought it out here and it got filled up with water about halfway. Came out here the next day and the water was gone and we was like, uh oh, and we looked there and it was holding the bottom of it, yeah. So we're about to find us a, a bigger one so it can hold more and doesn't have a hole in it. I definitely recommend it. I had never heard anything about rain harvest until we started watching it on YouTube and they just tell me about it. But it'd be so much easier for them to be able to water their animals, oh, yeah, the go. garden, instead of having to walk all the way up our back to the house and get buckets of water. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty good, Paul. Give me five. Yeah. Boom. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's really nice. Well, we're, uh, today, uh, y'all gonna finish tilling your garden? Yeah, we're gonna finish it up. We're gonna be planting here soon. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'll try to get out here and help them plant if you want me to. Okay. See what we can get. Yeah. Now what's uh, is there any kind of tri uh, tricks or anything y'all have heard about planting that we're going to try? I've heard some of y'all talk about different things. What about the catfish, like catfish pieces? Oh yeah, something about uh, catfish meat or something like that. Catfish pieces, and we go like plant, put put around it or something. It'll help underneath it. the tomatoes, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. so they, they, you and Jesse showed me. Yeah, we're, and we're gonna. I think we might be trying that out. I heard it. It'll hurt to try it out and see how it does. There's some uh, chickens they going back resting over there. Oh, yeah. They like that corner. Now, give us a like and a subscribe. Leave us a comment. Let us know how mm -hmm. we're doing. That's what we want to know, ain't it, Paul? How, oh, yeah. Want to know how we're doing? Let us know any tricks, ideas for us to try. But, you know, like I, we put this war all around this cage, and then I heard that it wasn't good for goats. And it wouldn't hold them in. So, but we're going to try it anyway. That's what we've got. So we're going to see if that does any good. Yeah, we're, we tried to make it good in size. So when they like, lean up on it or trying to jump up on it, it wouldn't just fall. It just wouldn't just collapse on yeah, it. Yeah, hold them. That's one reason, too, which we thought we'd get Nigerian dwarf goats that should be able to hold their weight. No yeah. problem. We got us a board down there made for support. So maybe that'll help it out some. I think it'd be all right, but if not, we'll go get the what we gotta have. But yeah, down the like, give us a subscribe. Let us know tricks, tips to planting our garden, rabbits, anything. And let us know how we're doing down in the corner. Yeah, let us know how we're doing. And Paul, mm -hmm. what y'all calling yourself? The Napier Homestead Farms. All right, thank y'all.